Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ariviews back with another video and today I will show you guys 10 amazing iOS 14 home screen widgets that I believe you should download on your device in 2021. Now, another thing you should do is leave a like on this video. That helps me out a lot and of course helps this channel do much, much better. All right, we're starting off with Shazam. So Shazam has been updated and now it offers iOS 14 home screen widgets. So you will find all kinds of different sizes, the small one, the medium one, and the bigger one as well. And they actually look pretty cool. So here we have the small one and the bigger one. What you can find here on the smaller one, you will see your most recent find, basically the song that Shazam has recognized it last. And then we have on the bigger one, the same thing. And you have your three recents as well. Now, if you tap on any of these, it will actually take you on Shazam to that song. So that's really, really cool. So if you want to actually go ahead and launch Shazam quickly, of course, you can do that from here. You just tap right there and it takes you right to Shazam. Next up, we have Microsoft to do. So with Microsoft to do, you will have your tasks right here on the home screen. It offers all kinds of different widgets. So here we have a few of them. You will have your day. You will have one that allows you to quickly add a task. So you tap right there. It takes you right to the app to add a task quickly. And then you will have here bigger ones with tasks. So you will see all the different tasks that you have for today, that's really cool as well. Now tapping here, of course, it will take you to your tasks on whichever one you tap, or if you tap the plus button right there, you can actually go ahead and quickly add a task. So very, very useful. It not only shows you your tasks, but it also allows you to perform quick actions from the home screen. Next up, we have health widget. Now, Apple doesn't offer a health widget. We have the health app from Apple, which is of course very useful, but I don't know why Apple hasn't made a widget for health app, but we have health widget for that. Basically, it offers all kinds of different widgets. Here we have two smaller ones at the top. We have one that shows the steps that we have done today, and then we have one for the heart rate. So you can see it shows the range of today and the, your average for today. And then we have two medium ones. You will find all kinds of different widgets with this app. It has like 10 widgets, but I've shown here some of the best ones. So we have one here for the steps. So we have the steps, we have the calories burned, we have the floors climbed, and we have also the running and walking distance. And then we have one here dedicated just for the steps. It will show you at the top, you can see they show the current date, and then it will also show you right here how many steps you have made, and of course your goal, how much in percentage, how much you have completed your goal and how much you have to remaining for today. It also shows you the steps for yesterday and the weekly average right here at the bottom. Next, we have calls widget. Now with calls widget, you will be able to quickly message someone or call someone directly from the home screen of your device. So what we have here is two different widgets. So you can add the small, the medium and the bigger one from this app. So what I can do here is just tap that and of course go ahead and quickly call this contact. You can find also here messages and other stuff you can do. Now when you go to the app, so let's just go quickly to the app right here. What you can do is tap the plus button and just start adding your contacts. You can tap right there. If you want to customize this, you can change the color. You can see right here. And then you can also tap on any of the contacts and you can actually customize the way the contact looks on a widget. You can add, of course, the picture that you have on that contact, or you can choose any of these pictures right there. What you can do here is also choose where you want to open it. So you can choose phone, SMS, FaceTime, you have here Skype, you have email or Telegram, whatever that is, and you have WhatsApp as well. So any of these can be added. And then of course, that action can be performed right here from the home screen. Next, we have Gemini. Now, this app allows you to track the price of Bitcoins and other cryptocurrencies. So what we have here is the small widget 
which shows you only one. In this case, I have Bitcoin and we have the bigger one, which shows like eight of them. What you can do here is of course on the smaller one, you can just tap right there and tap on edit widget and choose the asset from here. So it shows you all kinds of different, different cryptocurrencies and you can go ahead and choose whichever one you want to display on that widget. So if you like this kind of stuff, you're interested or you have invested in those and you want to keep track of how they're going, then this is the widget for you. Next up is simple weather. Now this is a new weather widget, which I really, really like because it offers all kinds of different widgets displaying all kinds of different information. Now what we have here are three different ones. We have one that shows the current date and of course it will show you the hourly forecast right here. Then at the top we have the smaller one which shows the current weather and then we have here the UV index. We have here all the different information and you can add much more simply by going to this widget. You can see right here when you go to simple weather you can add like the probability of rain points of attention you can add here about the wind current weather and of course today's weather so we have like six or five different widgets that you can add with different informations regarding the weather next up is countdown now this is a widget that will show you how many days are left until a date that you choose of course until an event that you have set on the app now most of these widgets that do countdowns are even either paid or they require a subscription this one is free it is simple to use and i really really like it so you will have of course all kinds of different sizes here if you go to the app from here you can add an event what you can do here is add a title then go ahead and add any emoji here if you want to and then of course set the date right here you can customize it with color and just click save and from the home screen all you gotta do here is just 3D touch on any of the widgets, tap on edit widget and from here you will be able to actually go ahead and select any of the events and of course start displaying that event on that widget. Next up is Widget. Now before I talk about Widget, I know I've posted about Widget like probably 15 times until now but it is amazing and now it had a big update and it's much much better so I had to include it on this video so with the new widget it will be very easy for you just follow a couple steps and you will be able to create like different widgets that are transparent like this one which actually looks really really cool what you can do here is go to the new widget and you can see a new interface here you can sort and filter now widgets of course from here you will be able to actually now explore different widgets that you can add to the home screen you can see how many beautiful widgets you can find here and of course we have the widget community which is amazing now what we have here is a new way to create basically transparent widgets on the home screen now what you need to do from here is simply go ahead and just try to add a widget and you will be able to actually create any widget into a transparent widget now what you need to do is he here is just go ahead and from the manage section go to set transparent background now what you need to do is go to your home screen and go to the edit mode and go to the last page where there are no icons and just take a screenshot of that page and now from widget all you gotta do is just set the transparent background by tapping here and choosing it from your media library and then anytime you want to actually set a widget that has a trans you want to make it into a transparent background all you got to do is just tap on that widget and from here you can set the widget position you can see you have your screenshot loaded there and you just choose where you want to place that widget and you're good to go just like that of course you have a transparent widget now just notice that every time you change the wallpaper of your device you will have to do the same thing so just take that screenshot and come and load it here and you're good to go you will be able to actually very very easily now create transparent widgets the next one is calorie calorie is an amazing app and it offers some amazing widgets you can see i have a few of them here it has a lot more with all kinds of different information now calorie basically allows you to track your calories how much you can eat if you want to lose or maintain weight or if you want to gain weight as well and right here you can see how many calories you have to take during the day in this case i want to lose some weight 
and you can see how much I have remaining here and everything that I ate today. And of course, you can go ahead and add more from the app. Now, right here, we'll see the chart for the week and right here, we'll see your day. So I have basically consumed, in this case, 451 calories, that's 16%, and it shows me how much more I can consume this day. So very, very useful. If you want to basically track your calories, go ahead and install the app and the widgets are actually very useful. And last but not least is a simple one, but it's actually really interesting. It is called QR widget. It allows us to add a link or something you want as a QR code and place it right on the home screen of your device. And in this case, maybe you can add a link to your social media, maybe your Snap or your Instagram or something like that, and you can quickly share it with someone. So if you go into the app, you can add the link here or any text, anything you want. And of course, you can also go ahead and customize the look of the QR code and that will change, of course, the look on the home screen as well. And of course, you can make it like this to go along with the wallpaper that you have set. So just like that, you can create any QR code with any link or anything you want and quickly share something from your home screen. So that is it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Go ahead and subscribe for more. Hopefully you enjoyed these widgets. If you want to download any of them, make sure to check the pinned comment. You will find all the links there. Again, thank you for watching. I will see you guys on the next one.